You will no longer need to pay for postage to mail in your ballot if you live in King County. And while there's a lot of support for prepaid postage overall, critics worry that it gives King County voters a perk that other counties don't currently have. Mr. Chair, the vote is seven ayes and council members done and Lambert voting no. Thank you. Have you received? So that's one reason why the vote was not unanimous tonight and the debate did take much longer than expected. In fact, this debate actually started last week when the plan was first presented to King County Council. Elections Director Julie Wise says her research shows that it will boost turnout based on the results of a pilot program that she tested last year. She also argues that paying for postage could also be more cost effective in the long run rather than continually adding drop boxes in the county where you don't have to have postage on your ballot. But Secretary of State Kim Wyman has said she would like to see prepaid postage for all counties in Washington state, not just King. So she's asked the governor's office to look at using emergency funding to make it happen statewide. My biggest concern with that really good idea, which would hopefully increase turnout and, and voter participation, is that we're only doing it for a third of the state's voters. I would love to see prepaid postage be um, entirely statewide. There's a lot of different instances here in King County and Washington State and this country in which we can do and have conduct elections differently. King County Elections Director Julie Wise there was making the point that currently there are differences between how elections are run in different counties, some of those differences based on resources. Meanwhile, I am told that right now the governor's office is working with the Secretary of State's office to look at different options and the cost of implementing the program estimated at around $1.8 million. So right now they're working to see where those funds could possibly come from, looking at possible options to make it happen statewide. We'll keep you posted.